Is it a risk to commodity markets? Julian, let's go through the prices together. October, down almost 11% on WTI. November, down another 6.25. December, down 5.67. Julian, this is serious stuff. Things are fragile in the Middle East. But if you looked at crude, Julian, you'd have no idea what was coming on. What gives? Um, well, I, I think you're absolutely right. I mean, we've seen a, a, a rise today of somewhere between two, two and a half percent in, in crude prices. But that's coming off these big falls that you've just mentioned. And we're still seeing um, Brent below 80, WTI below 75. Uh, this is on top of uh, all of the OPEC plus cuts uh, that have been uh, agreed and extended and then deepened for several members coming into effect uh, as of yesterday. And that still hasn't pushed uh, prices uh, above 80 for Brent, uh, 75 for WTI, even with all these tensions in the Middle East. Um, and so I, I think that these tensions aren't being ruled out, but they are uh, playing out in an environment that is still pretty weak for oil, despite a, a hefty uh, Chinese import quota uh, that has just been released for the first part of the year. Julian, how much of this is just about the number 13 million? 13 million barrels a day of production in this country, in America. I think that's got a lot to do with it. I mean, uh, the U.S. surprised to the upside on production growth last year. Um, that is uh, putting a lot of oil into the market. That, that's helping uh, to keep supplies uh, ample to Europe. Um, and that is, is putting some uh, pressure on the price. The other thing, of course, with, with the Red Sea, Saudi Arabia in particular has the ability uh, to bypass the southern Red Sea for its oil exports. Uh, it ships Shipments to the U.S., such as they still are, um, either go already round the southern tip of Africa or across the Pacific to the west coast. Its shipments to Europe uh, can be loaded onto tankers sort of two-thirds of the way up the Red Sea um, and carried northwards through the, the Suez Canal, uh, thereby avoiding uh, all these areas of, of tension. It, it's really the other barrels coming out of, um, out of the Gulf, particularly uh, Iraqi barrels. Uh, heading to Europe that have, to some extent, replaced the Russian crude that's not going anywhere, and it's those that are most at risk.